Now, before all of that, it's time to get a second opinion on all your health concerns. Welcome, Dr Raj and Dr Zoe. Uh, let's get straight on with... Uh, first of all, Jenny actually has got in touch. She says, um, I'm a hay fever sufferer and pregnant. All hay fever medication advises against taking it whilst pregnant, but eye drops and nasal sprays are not enough. What can I do, Dr Zoe? OK, so there is something that Jenny can do. Um, we do recommend the nasal sprays and the eye drops, first of all, because we know that they're completely safe. And if you look at any of the antihistamines, they'll usually say, only to be used in pregnancy if the benefits outweigh the risks, which can be a little bit... That's hard, isn't it? Hard, because yeah, you don't know what the risks are. It's a big risk. So what well. are the risks? Um, there haven't been found to be any risks, actually, associated with loratadine or periton, but they haven't really been around for long enough for us to be completely 100% certain that they're right. safe. Mm. But what we do know is that, actually, if your health is suffering significantly from hay fever, so you're not going out and being active, you're not sleeping well, well, then that is likely to cause some slight potential harm to the baby. So if you're having significant symptoms that are affecting your health, then do take an antihistamine. Yeah, and, I mean, drugs like periton, chlorphenamine, we do widely use them in obstetrics, uh, particularly in obstetric cholestasis. It has been documented to be actually safe. It does have a drowsy effect. So if that is affecting your use of periton, go and see your GP who will have a further list of other drugs. Okay, that's great. Safe. Thank, Thank you. you.